YouTube, what is up guys? Today, I'm gonna show you how to fix big giant rust holes on cars. So this is an 07 Hyundai Accent with 200,000 miles on it. And I got this car for free from my brother-in-law, John. And my car broke down, it was like totaled. And he's like, dude, I got, I've been trying to sell this car for two years, no one's buying it, you can just have it. I'm like, really, you sure? It needed a bunch of repairs. Uh, not a bunch, but it needed a little work. And then there's obviously some body things from it sitting. The rest of the car is actually in really good shape. This one area though is just a big um, giant rust hole. Like you can just pull this stuff off. It's literally falling off. So we're gonna, you know, do the old Bondo, repaint it, prime it, all that good stuff. So it's, it's probably, if you're gonna do a job like this, probably gonna cost you about a hundred bucks to be completely honest. Um, so we're gonna, we got two different types of Bondo body filler. We got the regular body filler and then we got the Bondo glass. Then I also bought the, the resin as well as the fiberglass to really reinforce it. And then if, if that's not enough, I also bought the metal mesh as well. Um, first thing we're gonna have to do is remove all the rust and sand everything really good. So you could do this by hand. Uh, you could use things like orbital sanders. We're gonna be doing a little bit of both. Um, then I also got a rust remover attachment for my drill for like five bucks. So that'll work really good. You're gonna need some gloves, some tape. Uh, you're gonna need your paint. I, I don't got. I gotta order the paint for this car actually, the actual color. But you're gonna need some primer, some rust reformer. This will prevent the rust from coming back. Uh, and then you're definitely gonna need some like gloves, breathing, and eye protection. So this should be a lot of fun. And uh, let's get into it. All right. First thing I did was I took my rust remover attachment made by 3M onto my drill. I tried to jack up my car and take the wheel off, but the rust on the tire I, I couldn't get it off so I just went back to using my grinder and cut like an inch and a half past the metal and then I put these little Bondo um, metal sheets something for this just so the fiberglass could grab on something now this fiberglass glass with the fiberglass resin was extremely hard to work with it actually burnt holes in like 30 pairs of gloves I went through so many gloves with this uh, it was a total mess it gave my skin a rash when it got on me and um, I, I'm not gonna use it again uh, you can see here, I I was getting so frustrated with this stuff. It is just so sticky, and it's such a pain to work with. Here, I just decided to cut up some beer cans and shove them in here. Now they're aluminum and it's metal. You know, it shouldn't, it doesn't rust. It's aluminum, so um, they're very flexible too. And actually, I was able to form the shape of the fender pretty well with them. And I should have thought of this earlier. Um, the concept is kind of the same as those the metal bondo patches, so. To me, I was like, you know, why not, why not try it out? It worked way easier than I thought it would. And then I kind of just used a little fiberglass resin to glue that in place. Now here I switch, I uh, do one more little layer of fiberglass resin, then I switch to the Bondo glass. This is a very thick version of Bondo. My buddy Mac came over, he's better at this than me. And he told me I was putting it on, trying to put it on too light, to put it on heavier, so I could just sand it down after. And that seemed to work a lot better. Make sure you mix this stuff in small batches because um, it hardens very fast and you'll end up wasting a lot of it if you don't. Um, but yeah, just it's just like you know plastering a wall. There's really nothing to it. This Bondo, yeah, is the very, very thick, harder one. It's got little pieces of strands of fiberglass in it. So you wanna do this one first when you have big, um, big holes and stuff. So then um, after this, we took an orbital sander, started at 100 grit, and then I moved to a 220 grit pad to smooth it out a little better. And then once you get that all smooth, uh, I just wiped off the dust, and then we started putting on some regular Bondo. This is just your standard Bondo body filler. And this is easier to work with. It's, it's a lot thinner. Sanded that down, same procedure, 100, then 220 grit with the orbital sander. Worked great. Um, make sure to look at all the body lines of the car and just get it the best you can. This is Bondo Spot Putty. It's for like the little pin pricks. Um, then just kind of cleaned everything off with acetone and uh, started priming it with regular old automotive primer. Now here I'm using the paint I got off eBay and I gave them my VIN number, my paint code and everything and it's not the right paint. It's basically, they basically just gave me like a charcoal color. Uh, and my paint actually has like a blue tint to it and it definitely was not the right color so you can see you'll see that in a minute but it did actually go on really smoothly and you know what it it looked better than you know having a bunch of bondo on the side of the car this is just some automotive clear i actually did two coats of this i only show you one here but and uh here's the final product 
All right, guys, so there is the finished product. Now, bad news is the color I had them mix actually doesn't match. So the source I got it from refunded me for it, but uh, I think I'm going to down the road just repaint the whole car. But this fixed the big massive rust hole, which is the expensive part in any body repair. Now, normally I would wet sand this. You want to wait a day after the clear grit and you're going to wet sand it starting at 1500 grit, working your way up to 3000 grit, and then polish it with wax. But since the color doesn't match, I'm not going to really even waste my time with that. Uh, I'll probably hit it with some wax in a couple days or so, but other than that, um, that's pretty much it. But I'm very happy with how the Bondo job and everything came out. Definitely not perfect, but for me never doing it before, really you know really turned out pretty good so thank you guys for watching uh, if you're gonna try something like this do uh, don't be intimidated it just takes a lot of patience and uh, other than that it was actually a lot of fun and uh, I'm looking forward to painting the whole car so if this video gets over a hundred likes I'll paint the whole car using spray paint uh, and I'll do that and then if it doesn't look good then I'll get it professionally painted but I thought it'd be a fun thing to try out so um, yeah I mean the color is not terribly wrong but it's definitely definitely doesn't match so yep thank you guys for watching smash that like button if you like this video and uh, if you have any questions about anything let me know down below and i'll see you later